。OK。OK， I I will show you the work we do at the Treviso Hospital near Venice and research and at the University of Padova. So we work in the field of audiology. So with the hearing loss in children and adults and elderly people. And we would like to develop an audiovisual software and hardware for the assessment and rehabilitation of auditory and speech language system. So hearing, uh, permanent hearing loss is one of the commonest clinical condition and in the USA population, the prevalence is estimated around 12-13% in the population 12, 12 years and older. So uh, you can see the degree of hearing loss uh, that is uh, from moderate to severe and profound. And uh, when it, the degree is... Uh, more than moderate, uh, it requires uh, uh, hearing uh, restoration by hearing aids or cochlear implants because it causes a, a disabling uh, condition, I mean a disability, auditory and communication disability. So after uh, restoration with uh, hearing aids and cochlear implantation, uh, patients uh, uh, need also to be trained with a specific uh, rehabilitation, auditory and speech rehabilitation program. So uh, this um, program, rehabilitation program, enhances or, and or accelerates the, the process of uh, hearing adaptation after hearing, hearing aids and after cochlear implantation and improves uh, auditory skills. So these are data from a study from 2007 of the epidemiology of, of age-related hearing loss that is the most uh, common condition for uh, hearing. And of course there are mm, many, many, I mean there is a number, an increasing number of uh, adults that become, I mean, hearing impaired. And uh, it, is, it is estimated that in 2025, near 60 million of US people will, uh, will need a hearing uh, device to restore hearing. So we would like to, to design um, a computer-assisted visual and audio training because uh, after hearing aids and cochlear implants uh, uh, there are many changes in auditory perception that can cause a language and speech uh, uh, delay or alteration in development and uh, so after restoration of hearing uh, and specific auditory and speech training uh, is, uh, is needed. So you have to remember that this process uh, of adaptation for uh, visual perception is uh, quite, uh, I mean, very, very fast. But for uh, auditory perception is very, very long. It takes a long time. So for a baby who is born uh, deaf and who undergoes to cochlear implantation, he needs or she needs uh, almost 10 years uh, of rehabilitation. So all his childhood. And for an adult uh, who loses uh, hearing, uh, I mean, it's not as, uh, as, uh, as a baby, uh, as a child, but uh, an adult needs also, uh, I mean, a long time of rehabilitation in terms of months not years, but months. So, um, we, 
we would like to to um, to create a, a computer assisted visual audio training system because you know that uh, in this time i mean usually this training is performed by a speech therapist who makes an individual i mean one to one rehabilitation programs and that this is very very expensive in terms of money in terms of I mean, time. So for a child, this is quite I mean, necessary, it's mandatory, because child uh, always requires more attention, of course, and, and the time, the, 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 it, it's really more difficult. But for an adult, uh, I mean, for adults, uh, speech therapists are not needed anymore because there are several, um, I mean, automatic systems uh, PC-based systems, so they can be self-trained at home. Uh, the thing that is not already developed is that uh, there is no uh, um, a device who can uh, make a correction, I mean, can uh, improve hearing and language skills. So, right now, I mean, we know uh, we, we need an, just a, a PC, normal PC or Mac or, or a Windows PC with a microphone, two loudspeakers, and uh, a software, possibly with a video game associated to, for babies, for children, or something dynamic that the patient can personalize. So the material, I mean, the speech training materials can change on the basis of the need, the needs of the patients, of the subject. So there are um, many softwares already developed, and these are the most uh, Utilized, and they are designed from the and hearing uh, devices uh, factories. I mean, so and they're they're not um, utilized uh, all over the world. In Italy, it doesn't exist. So uh, the innovative aspects of of this uh, program is that. Uh, we can develop a specific training studied for children, adults and elderly, uh, based on personal communication targets. Of course, uh, it depends on the kind of communication, I mean, mm, uh, skills uh, from the beginning, and it depends also on the targets uh, we want to, to obtain. And um, this system, it could be utilized also for uh, learning and practicing foreign languages. Also for, uh, I mean, normal hearing people, not for uh, hearing loss, I mean, hearing impaired people. So this, this could be utilized also on the softwares for uh, learning foreign languages. Uh, these are um, other... Uh, uh, I mean, software developed in the last uh, five years, uh, but none of uh, uh, those is, uh, I mean, is uh, capable, I mean, it can, I mean, improve and uh, speech and hearing uh, performance. So, we need now, we need technical, uh, manufacturing and commercial I mean, uh, help because we, we need, uh, we have the materials, uh, we have the speech materials, we have, we have the procedures, we have the algorithm, but we need uh, the, um, the interface, I mean the, the program, the video game for children and the, and the software for PC or for a, uh, kind of pad, we can, or uh, 
and, and we need manufacturing uh, skills uh, and also commercial help. So if you are interested in this kind of program, you're very welcome. Thanks. <laughs>